I too have a dream, and my dream is now. In a sense, we've come to our nation's capital to cash a check. When the architects of our republic wrote the magnificent words of the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, they were signing a promissory note to which every American was to fall heir. This note was a promise that all men, yes, black men, as well as white men, would be guaranteed the unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It is obvious today that America has defaulted on this promissory note, insofar as her citizens of color are concerned. Instead of honoring this sacred obligation, America has given the people a bad check, a check which has come back marked insufficient funds. But we refuse to believe that the Bank of Justice is bankrupt. We refuse to believe that there are insufficient funds in the great vaults of opportunity of this nation. And so, we've come to cash this check, a check that will give us upon demand the riches of freedom and the security of justice. And so, even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men and women are created equal. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted and every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain and the crooked places will be made straight and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope and this is the faith. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of rubber. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to school together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. And this will be the day. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing, Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. And so, let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and molly hill of Mississippi and Minnesota. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And when this happens, and when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty we are free at last. I too have a dream, and my dream is now. Be free, stay free, act free. Free does not mean indecency. Free does not mean destruction. Free does not mean anger. Freedom is a choice. 
You have a choice to stop the looting and violence. You have a choice to stop the tears. You have a choice to stop the destruction. Slavery is gone. Do not be a slave to your greed and anger. Free yourself and your neighbors from tinting the name of our free nation. Use your freedom wisely. Enjoy the freedom of choice that the great Martin Luther King fought and died for. Choose to be free. There's a common enemy that we are fighting against now. It is a real enemy and it kills. And we all should be united against it. It is the enemy of 2020. It is called COVID. COVID is the enemy that takes our freedom. It is not segregate by color, nor age, nor status. In the face of COVID, we are all equal. This is not the equality that we all should strive for. If we let COVID prevail, none of us will be free. Let's choose to be free by staying at home and saving our nation's resources. So I can have a school to go to. So I can have freedom to play with my friends. So I can have the choice to go to the park or the beach and not be afraid. I want to be free, just like you. So please help stop the rioting and stay free. I ask of you, no, I beg of you. In the memory of Martin Luther King, I plead for freedom for everyone.